Hey, it's Kilobyte here. Uh, today I've got my uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 22. Um, it's clearly unloaded. Um, and uh, I'm playing with grip tape. Uh, so I ordered some uh, grip tape and uh, gun tape is what it's called. It's like GT500. Uh, these are the instructions that came with it. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. What you get with this particular kit is just strips of uh, this is the rubbery, rubberized stuff, uh, which I think would be better for me uh, than the sandpaper. But uh, pick what you like. Uh, the basics on this uh, is to put some masking tape on your gun or you can just take some uh, paper and hole over it if you can and then uh, scribble it on it with the uh, with a pencil Let's see if I can show that um, so that you get the outline of what you want and then you uh, put it on some like cardstock and cut it out and then put it on and they they say like uh, uh, they're showing some contacts to man I don't think I'm gonna oh that's if you need to stick it to yourself to itself um, but I'm not gonna worry too much about that so what I've done is uh, I got my template on how I want it, and on the Smith & Wesson 22, I actually found one. I actually found one on the uh, internet and uh, printed it out. Uh, I got my pieces here um, on paper. I then put those on my sheets. On these, I was able to, you know, get those all cut on one piece. This, though, you either had to go barely horizontally or vertically. I chose vertically. Um, so it's going to make it a little interesting when I uh, put it on. We'll see how it ends up looking. Um, but I've fiddled around with designs, uh, and I kind of like the diamonds. Uh, more of a horizontal diamond uh, and I then and this is the actual gun tape that has been cut out and uh, got my diamonds on here now you'll notice they're not all uh, you know this is the back piece and it goes right here therefore the uh, diamond cuts are all level however bear in mind when you're doing these like this this one sets like so so if you want your diamonds to be uh, horizontal you know wide the wide part horizontal uh, you need to uh, draw them at a more of an angle the front, you'll notice the center I've drawn, you know, completely uh, horizontal. But these, when you put it on the gun, there'll be an angle, and so these will actually end up being like so. So I've draw drew these at an angle, um, and you can do pretty much whatever. Uh, pattern you like and can handle as far as artistically uh, being able to cut them out um, that'll be the tricky part um, these I cut out with scissors because it was just all outlined and you can you know this they could have been better but uh, I've got a cutter here and yeah pulling this off with <laughs> with one hand okay that's not gonna work 
And it comes right off too. So, here we go. That, that is sharp. Right there, that thing will cut you open quick. Now what I'm gonna be doing, is I got my patterns. I'm gonna just uh, use this. Cut it out from the back. Try to get good straight lines. And uh, just cut them all out. And uh, then once I got everything cut out, then I'm going to uh, clean the handle everywhere. There, everywhere where there's going to be a uh, uh, the gun grip tape it goes on. I'm going to clean with uh, rubbing alcohol. Um, but first, I'm going to cut these out. There you can see where I got them cut out here. Um, I think they look pretty good. Um, they are not, you know, die cut quality, nothing like that. But uh, it's my own pattern, and uh, the diamonds are pretty easy to cut out. And um, the, when you do cut them out, if you're going to use a uh, little razor. Cut like cutter like that. Make sure you got something that uh, can handle it underneath. Um, so now I'm going to start test fitting the uh, pieces. Uh, now that they're cut out and everything, they'll bend easier. And obviously, it's going to take two hands for this, but. I'll start doing any sort of trimming that I may need on them uh, before cleaning and sticking them down, but uh, I don't think that'll be too too much required. All right, hopefully this will show up right on the camera. So I've got all these cut out, and what I'm doing now. Is I'm going to start with this piece. It's just this is the one I decided would be the best. I center it. You can uh, make sure you can see this. The light's horrible. There's a uh, center seam right here, and uh, I'm using the center of the diamonds. Try to line that up, and I want to line this up with the seam on both sides and I've been trimming on it cutting little pieces off uh, as you can little tiny pieces with scissors again these are uh, even though I had a template it still takes some work to make sure it's gonna fit just right and I am by no means an artist I don't have the patience for it but this takes a lot of patience so, again, try to line it up. I think I'm going to cut just a little more off uh, this one, trim it just a little more around that curve so that I get the nice line. So let me cut some more on it. All right, so I have test fitted my pieces, trimmed them. Uh, washed my hands and now I am using alcohol uh, rubbing alcohol to clean the grip everywhere this is just standard uh, rubbing alcohol I mean this stuff is just 50 percent but you can get some better stuff but uh, this part is very important. Make sure you get everything that that glue is going to come in contact with clean. And don't, like I'm using a paper towel, you don't want it to, the little pieces to come up. Because uh, those will obviously get in the stick to your gun and uh, get inside where the glue is. You don't want that. so. Just be sure to clean it good. 
Uh, I'm using rubber, not rubbing alcohol, like I said. Take your time, get it good. Be sure to wash your hands because your hands will be oily naturally. You want those to be nice and uh, clean, oil free. I'm going to have to get a lint-free cloth to uh, get, all, get any pieces of lint that may have uh, stuck on the grip. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to re-wipe it. And then we'll start uh, sticking the uh, grip tape on it. Alright, so we've got it clean, lint-free. I'm now carefully pulling back the paper, trying to touch the sticky part as little as possible. And what we want to do Just line up the front here. Try to line that up. I hope that's close. We'll find out here. Alright, it is not. I'm off. I'm trying to get the top lined up. Okay. There are the tops in. Should try to work from center out. Try to work from center out. It's hard to see black on black, and uh, that is making it difficult. Even though I got a light, it's still not. as much light as I'd like. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so the front top front piece is on. I hope this shows up on the camera. And, uh, yeah. So there, it, top front piece is on. You can't see, uh, I'm not sure how much the pattern is showing up. Uh, but there are diamonds patterns in there so you can, and it's definitely I can already tell it feels better all right so next for mine will be this bottom piece here and there is going to be some overlap for me um, there is going to be a little overlap because again this was uh, strips and they weren't wide enough for that so uh, I will do that next and uh, again try to keep any oils off of here and off of your hands so I'm probably going to hit this again with some uh, rubbing alcohol and uh, just to make sure that got it as clean as possible because that is when a grip 
grip tape like that uh, fails, it's because you didn't get that clean enough, or I guess there's an off chance that your the adhesive wasn't good, but uh, it's probably because you didn't get clean enough. So let me start working on the bottom piece. All right, so I got the bottom piece on, and this would have been much better if I had had wider piece and I didn't have to have this in two two separate strips but uh, this stuff you know sticks really nicely uh, you know you just push it down and uh, you can stretch it a little bit um, we will uh, use a heat gun on it once I get everything on and that will really stick it down but right now just with my fingers pressing it down nicely making sure everything is down and it looks pretty good I mean this is just a homemade you know this is just a me doing it it's not a uh, nice die cut pattern I mean if you want perfection then you're gonna wanna buy one that's already pre-cut uh, there's no question about that um, but this is just my little target 22 and uh, so I'm just playing around this stuff was quite cheap and uh, so I thought I'd try it um, for my uh, other stuff you know that I want to look a little better I'll uh, I might just buy like a talon grip or something so we got the front piece uh, still got the back I'm gonna have I got three three pieces for the back. I'm gonna start with the two sides. Get those. I'm gonna actually stick those on. Then I'm gonna check the back piece and I'm gonna trim it to fit properly between these two. Uh, that way I'll uh, that's how I'll handle dealing with. Uh, my homemade cut pieces because you know there's gonna took a fair bit of trimming on these uh, to get it to fit and I've also got uh, some other pieces I got a piece here I got a piece under here and I got a piece that's going right here um, but that feels really good so let me start on the back Okay, so I've got the sides, the back sides, as well as that back, very back strip on, and uh, got it all pressed down. I hope this shows up. Uh, I just got a couple other small pieces to put on, and then I'll uh, get the heat gun out and uh, warm it up and. Uh, get it stuck on well. Oh, that feels much better already. Alright, so one of the pieces I want to do is here in the bottom of the uh, trigger guard. And let me go about that long. It's a little... I don't have to have it that long, but I think I'm going to have it that long and I'm going to put it right up against this piece right there or uh, yeah I think right there alright this is not exactly lint free Uh, all right, so now fun, tricky part, pulling the paper off. You roll it like, I hope this is picking up, so you can get the paper to kind of slide on it a little bit. Careful, 
if you do right what I'm doing here because you don't want to pull you don't want to touch the ends because any uh, oils on your fingers will get on it and that's the most likely part to pull up all right so I'm gonna carefully right against there try to keep it center before I without uh, pressing it down I'm making sure I have it centered when I say pressing it down I don't want to press it down firmly until I know it's where I want it there we go. Now you can pull it up, a, you know, pull up on it. But each time you pull up on it, you're weakening it a little bit. So there, got it on. Now I'm going to press it into place, and that's pretty centered, I think. Again, this light isn't the best, although I have a bright light in front of me, it doesn't necessarily, it still does shadows, it still creates shadows. Alright, so that piece is now on. Give my finger a good grip there. Now I'll probably do the little piece that goes right here. This one here, and I've got this piece which will go right here. And you'll notice I got the manual safety which I had to cut a little piece out. So I'm going to go ahead and do those off camera because you know, I don't want to bore you to death. They're pretty simple. I got that little corner cut out of that one so that it'll sit right there. And I'll be back. All right, there it is. Notice I got the little piece here. Got the uh, thumb section under the trigger guard. I drip all the way and I press down on them so they're where they need to be. And that's the hold. And that's good and solid. I like. feels good. Now, I have a heat blow tool. It's a heat gun. Um, and uh, now you can also use a curling, a uh, curling iron, oh boy, a uh, blow dryer. Um, you can use a blow dryer as well. If you are going to use a heat gun, be aware that it is hot. You don't want to melt your gun. Uh, you don't want to, you know, get it overheated. Um, but just turn it on. You know, this thing, this one gets fairly hot. It's not as hot as some, but you'll want to keep it a little ways out. Warm up a section and uh, press down. All right, so my batteries died. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you know my batteries die at least once or twice a video. So I picked these up, the uh, lithium. Uh, just put those in. Hopefully those will help. So back to the uh, heat gun. You want to heat it up. Again, don't melt your gun. Don't melt your grip tape. You can, you know, don't burn yourself. But, uh, Heat a section up, and then press down, and this just helps the adhesion, and uh, that'll help keep it stuck. That'll help keep it stuck on, and uh, just go through the whole gun doing this uh, everywhere where there's uh, grip tape, and uh, I tell you, it feels... It's so much, uh, you get so much better purchase on it uh, 
with this grip tape and you know this is the rubbery stuff not the sandpaper stuff um, sandpaper stuff I'm sure would give you really good grip but I don't you know I don't necessarily need the sandpaper not on this uh, this is just 22 really didn't need the grip tape but I wanted to try it out and see see if I could uh, do anything with it you know make it look decent and uh, what I've decided is that it's okay. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not, you know, but uh, more than likely, uh, if I get a simple pattern, then I might go with this. Um, but uh, I'd probably, I'd probably consider on a uh, if you really want want it to look good, you might want to buy a uh, die cut die cut grip. Uh, they're not that that expensive so all right well thanks for watching i'm gonna finish this up off camera and uh appreciate you all watching and uh if you've got any questions that i might or may or may not be able to answer just let me know and uh please like uh subscribe or comment uh if you find it helpful take it easy